66% probability of missing the target. Reckless. 50% chance of failure. And this is not an acceptable way to arrive at training. Even the greatest players of our time make mistakes. They take too many risks. After all, they're only human. But what if they weren't? I give you the future of football. Our clothes. Flawless decision-making. Guaranteed results. It's what the people want. Football just changed. Neymar loves to the times before the match, but now he's down. down. He's down. 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 can be beaten, but you, you can do it. I'm a fool. I need all of you together. Remember what makes you great. You are not afraid to take risks. You play like it's just a game. They play like it's a job. You risk everything to win everything. There's no greater danger than playing the safe. It's official. The originals are back and they're challenging the clones to a sudden death, winner take all game. If they lose, they say they will play the game forever. The question is, how will they beat a perfect clone? What a stage for the biggest match on the planet. The world is watching. First goal wins, no second chance.
anybody is more conscious of the fact that he's still to score on the biggest stage than Wayne himself. He needs to make a difference. Wayne, please score, Wayne! Can you make it up, Wayne? The question is, can Neymar live up to the number 10 legend? draw away in Ukraine. Yeah, that was a massive result for us because it's a difficult place to go. But then you have to make sure you win your home game. So that point will only be a good point if we win these home games. That's the challenge to us now. We have to trust in each other. We have to be confident. You should be qualifying for, for big tournaments, but everyone wants to beat England, so you're ready for a big battle. You've got them three lines on your shirt and we've got to fight for each other, work hard for each other. There's certainly the best young talent in Clarkins, but the experienced lads have to try and help the young lads in certain games. On the other hand, the young lads you know, can just come up with a bit of magic and can make things happen. Well back here! And Jackie Roberts through the net again! Rooney's a great example, you know, he's near on 80 caps when he was only 28. He broke into the team when he was 18, you know, he'd been playing for 10 years and he can pass his experience on to us young players. When I first come to the scene, I just play with no fear. And that's exactly the same thing when these players come in. And, you know, it's a great opportunity for a lot of the players because when you're good enough, the manager's going to pick you. Everyone's competing for so many places here. And that's going to make you into a better player yourself. Andrew Townsend to debut in an England starting 11 at Wembley. Big night for both him and the man who has chosen him. Townsend seating on for the ball. Andros Townsend has arrived on the international stage. When you're young, you've, you've no worries and you just play, and I think that's when you see a lot of the exciting things happen. Well, back to the space, them to get them behind players and putting players on, and that's what we need them to do. For me to tell these young guys, oh, it's going to be tough. Until you've been there, done it, then I think you're never going to realise how difficult and how hard these situations are. From the morning, we just want the game to come. We know if we play squad ability, we'll win the game. As a footballer, you play football to, to win trophies and to try and be successful. I think if you look at all the great players, they all have special moments of their own. As a centre forward, you've always got that opportunity to create your own history, which obviously is also your country's history. Oh, cool. 
It's great obviously playing for country, but then what I always think about is can you imagine being successful and winning something in the country? The feeling you get from playing for the so what feeling would it be to win a trophy? It would be incredible and that's what we're aiming to do. That will be a moment which will live on forever. Scored 76% probability of missing the target. Reckless. 50% chance of failure. I mean, how's that? It's not an acceptable way to arrive at training. Even the greatest players of our time make mistakes. They take too many risks. After all, they're only human. But what if they were? I give you the future of football. Our clothes. Oh, this way. 
The challenge started off back in South Africa where we had to go through a phase of trials. We were trialing there for the chance to go over the top 100 and I made it there. I couldn't believe it. Jeune, bah, moi j'étais devenu un footballeur professionnel, donc euh, maintenant euh, il va se réserve l'avenir. And I just told her that I'm in the eight and she started crying <laughs> and she put a tear in my eyes. <laughs> a été quelque chose de terrible. Moi, quand mon nom est sorti, ma jambe tremblait comme ça. Back home, like a lot of people had faith in me. My best friend told me now that you will make your final aid, so I thank you, my and my family. I got that positive, that's like it. That gave me the edge to go for it. Much, much closer to fulfill my dreams. Gives me so much confidence to know move, that move, move, coaches have been using me here. And I just want to work hard and prove them right and I'm not wasting the chance that I've been given. You're buzzing in here. Just so happy. It was only until like a, I guess a few weeks later that I realised that what it actually meant. Like I'm moving to England, moving away. I'm pretty much the other side of the world for me. So I guess the challenge is that I had only just started and going to the academy, it all, it all started all over again. They're packing up their life in a bag and bringing it across to the other side of the world. They're in an environment that's totally new to them, in a country that's totally new to them. I don't think we can take away just, just what a big ordeal that was for them. The, the hardest thing was just leaving my family behind because I know I'm going to miss them. I know it's, it's a sacrifice you need to do in order to be one of the best and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to become one of the best goalkeepers in the world. I think déjà avec les différents coaches qui sont à l'académie, on va beaucoup progresser. On va s'entraîner tous les jours. C'est un rythme de professionnel, donc on peut que progresser. The best facilities, best coaches, all I'm going to do is improve, hopefully after this year, and I'll move on to better things. The idea of the Nike Academy from the way it's set up is to actually put players into a shop window, give them an opportunity to showcase themselves, to get them into professional football. The eight that we chose to come in were exceptional. It's raw talent, it's not been coached, it's not been nurtured as such, it's been allowed to be a free spirit. They need a little bit of guidance, but their technical ability is stand up. You keep going on that, OK? That's how you should look after that run. We do ask them to hit the ground running because the time in the programme goes so quick. I think the intensity for the first few weeks actually totally took them by surprise. I want you to work. It's only not with me, fellas. You're more than good enough to do that. Outside, CT! TT! <laughs> now, you did everything right until the point of shutting down. Because you've overcommitted. I'm saying to you, get round him, show him outside, but then when you're here, don't let him back in. He shouldn't be back in because Tash should be there. Now say, go on then, now beat me. There ain't a player in this country that'll beat me. I grew up in the city of Ghana, Accra. In a family of six, I was, I was going to school like, every day, learning hard to become somebody in the future from where I came from and where I am now. There's a massive change today. Hey! Come on, let's have a finish! Let's say, big fella! Excellent! Well done, son!
그 나이키 아카데미 못 갔을 때한 5개월간 이제 제가 이제 혼자 영어 공부도 하고 Like this, where I just said that before, it's this kind of ridiculous to play against these standard players, and they're always coaching and watching, and people are going to be fighting them. It's fantastic. With developing young players, you've got to be patient. And when you can see the work that's going on with this initiative, that they are players there. Straight after their goal, yeah? Right, yeah. Right, right. Right, Jesse, I can't knock that. You make it take work because you're starting things on your own half. You've only been there but to get the shot on. He's gone across with no dribble, which I'd ask him to do. He's made the same. But there are mistakes in the division which has led to the goal. Fabio, you're the biggest coach for me because you're so uptight that he ain't giving you the ball. What could you have done? Go and stop the game. But because you're disappointed because Moon didn't pass the ball to you or he's had a poor shot, you switched off. Et moi c'était la première fois de voir tout ça et, et c'était difficile de prendre sur soi-même et de, voilà, de, 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 de surpasser le fait des médias, le fait de, de la pression, du regard des gens et surtout de, 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 de l'affrontement avec les autres joueurs. Il fallait surmonter la pression, il fallait surmonter le stress. Yes, All of a sudden you're concentrating, you're working oh. hard, yes, you're getting on with your training. I am now seeing the Fabio Tanini I saw in the charts. Do you understand? That player. And that's the person I want to see. Since the start of the academy, he's played 22 games. Played against the last Inter Milan against Arsenal. I scored 14 goals there. I'm quite happy with that. I've been captain for the past few games before. It's a great honour and it's just about the team, all the players playing well so we can show those You're in, Doug! You're in! Go on! few goals but obviously scoring against Inter Milan was a good memory that I'll probably won't forget. Everybody there you can hear them saying positive things about you when you if you do something on the pitch in front of them. To hear those people give you words of praise. It, it feels good, very, very good. He's one of the most talented, raw potential players that I've ever come across in my life. Can travel the ball, can pass the ball, great vision awareness. He has the ability to look like he's absolutely exhausted and just goes and breathes past people, hits 60 yard balls like as if he's playing a five yard pass. Reading really likes him, phoned me, said to come up to have him in. So I went over to Reading, tried him for three weeks, he then came back to get some more attention. I got some stoked about it, Buzzy, and I went down there and uh, I did quite well. And when they went to find me, it was even better than them. From there, I went on to not being able to attain a work permit. I guess my dreams and what I've been thinking of in my head just all sort of came crashing down, and probably the biggest setback I've had in, in my life. Tom, how to get a professional contract at Reading, so went back to Australia at Christmas time and was picked up straight away by Central Coast Mariners. What I think was a surprise to a lot of people is how quick he got in the first team at Central Coast, but it, it didn't come as a surprise to them. I know from being at Cup myself in a professional environment, you get a trials team. That trial is has to make an impact on you instantly. It's down to the boys to, to just go out there and be the best they can do every day. If we get a phone call, brilliant. Off you go. If we don't, we move on to the next one.
c'est très, très compliqué d'être footballeur dans le sens où euh, il y a des gens qui ont une routine, chaque jour on doit, on doit s'entraîner, chaque semaine on doit prouver qu'on est, qu est au top. We actually think you are a very, very good technical player. But you're a technical player in, in our games, and maybe 20, 25, 30 I want you to do what you do, but be more consistent. Deux tiers du match et l'autre en tiers. D'abord, on va comme il a été avant. Il sait de quoi il parle, c'est-à-dire que c'est ce qu'on ressent. I took the opportunity to watch the night having a play um, because I was aware of the, the sort of talent there. Got to see Moon and, and Kiki play, and I could just tell they had something a little bit unique, both of them. And hopefully this is the environment for them to, to really take that next step. Um, for the past 12 months, I've changed. change. But I'm now like, in, the, in the real world now. I like, love stuff for myself. Working, getting paid. Before the chance. I was in school and finished kind of did everything for me. And now like, I'm, I'm taking it myself now. I live on my own. I'm going in, like, the first time I was kind of scared, never. But on the pitch, like, I'm more confident because I'm not going to be very good at home. Five players and food, and our parents is a team town, so it's kind of snow every day and I have to get used to it. First game I got on the pitch and, like, the fans didn't know anything about me and it was one year against the favorite of the league. I came on and, like, everyone was like, That's it. I scored in the second game. One of the best goals I scored in my life. I'm really happy for that. After the game, like everyone was impressed. Like, I always knew like my first impression was speak a lot about you. Moon and I we came from a long journey to where we are now, so it's really good to have my life and share experience and stuff. Moon leaves like five minutes for me, so I do go to his talk about life, especially about where he came from South Korea, so I try to learn other people's culture. I just come. So, so. Until I got injured on Saturday while I was playing in the game, he's going to the uh, hospital to have a stand to see what's wrong and I pray that he's just improved and not ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
And then a few minutes into training, I, I hurt my ankle, like I snapped my ankle ligament. I've been out like three months and I like had to go for a steroid injection just to take the pain away. The specialist recommended me to have an operation in January, which I just had. It was very tough. I was cut because I wanted to play, I, want, I wanted to get a contact in England. That's, that's my dream. As I say to myself, everything happens for a reason. I know in the future good things will come. But God knows why I had to get injured at, at this moment. That was just a, a downfall for me. Back. With my character, like I motivated myself to get back and just do my rehab and start playing. The most motivation is like my friends, like they are, they've been like pushing me since the beginning and telling me I will do well and all that. Since we've been here in England, we've been there for each other, like helping each other, like we've become more close, like the real practice. We do like have faith in ourselves, we believe in each other. Without belief, we like, wouldn't be like, as high as we are today, like being at the Nike Academy. There's players like Jono that's out for, for months and months and like I can just imagine how they feel waking up every morning thinking, ah, oh, like I can't do what I really want to do, what I love. Each and every moment is special and you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You have to treat each and every day like it's your last play, each and every game like it's the last 90 minutes you're going to play. We played a friendly against Shamrock Rovers. The next day, the manager he gave me a call and he said, "Now nah, we want you to come over for a trial. He said to me, like, you did really well. I was over the moon. Shamrock Rovers, they champions in the Irish League. Fans come out, they pay their money to come and watch. So, I mean, there's going to be pressure. Expectations are high here. I expect it to be great. For me, it's not about age, it's about talent. Yeah, one of the best 19 year old goalkeepers that I've ever seen, to be honest. The manager said to me, like, you've really done well, and he gave me a chance against the team that's top of the league. When I walked out for the league game, I got butterflies as I walked out. It was the best feeling I've ever had in my life. It was the best feeling ever. We did uh, three weeks of being back. The manager came out to me. But uh, how do you think you go to start it? And he had a cheeky grin on his face and he knew what they were doing in the first match. And I started the match and I guess I wasn't quite used to the intensity and last for about 70 minutes. My second start, my third appearance, and I scored that goal about I think, five or ten minutes into the match and it was a cracker. And I guess that was probably the first point where people started to take notice and then. The week after that, we were at home, in front of the home crowd, and I had all my family watching, and I uh, scored another one. Liam dives in, Russell Rogers! Yeah. Superb, absolutely superb! It turned out to be, I guess, a decisive goal yeah. in the match, and uh, we won the game. One star in the making, Tom Rogers. It's crazy how football works. Soon went from being someone that nobody knew about to a regular name within the football community. To get my first international cup at, at any level. I was excited as I would be, and okay, it's something I, I guess I won't forget. A very proud moment for myself. Putting on that uh, green and gold jersey was pretty, pretty special feeling. I'm going to start packing my tonight and leave tomorrow. I want to get back and work on my ankle, so I'm going to stay in Durban for a while, do my rehab and just focus on getting my ankle better before I go to a pro club. The most that I'm going to miss is like the lads because like we're like a family now and like, we bonded like that's what I'm going to miss the most and just being around the coaches and the environment. I'll be a bit upset because I'm going to miss them. I have to do it and play my surprise. My dreams feel the same, like, as I'm telling myself, like, every night I, like, pray. Tell myself when I get back home, I need to work, like, 100% hard and, like, get myself back into pro football. Because I know I will, I believe in myself and I know that the men upstairs believe in me. At the start of the season, I felt that I was flying. 
I was on trial and I thought, all right, maybe this is a chance I'm going to push on the trial and get a contract and leave the academy. And then that's when I got injured. About for about maybe six weeks and I was back to square one, had to get my fitness back, had to get my form back. By the time I got all those back up, we're nearly in the season. So it was kind of really a bad hit for me, but I'm still going to work hard and I'm not going to use that as an excuse not to get a contract. This is probably the biggest game of the season, considering that we're still here. And, yeah, we've got three days left, but we've just got to grab this opportunity now to help us with our future. I was just jumping to the left line, it's not to the I'm going to just push the off the top. It's going to be there should be no fear. There should be no nerves. Make sure that you come off and say, I did my job today. That you don't come off with the ball. Okay, they're going through, they're going through. Okay, they're So you can't ask any more of the boys, they've done everything they can. And really for me, it's quite an emotional afternoon because it's just saying sort of goodbye to the boys in there, and in particular Toby and Moose because they've come through the child's programme. I know I've screamed, I know I've shouted, I know I've bit some of their heads off, but it's because I care. And what they'll find in life is that people stop talking to you if they don't care. While we're still talking, while we're still going at them, we care. The offer was a full scholarship to go and play at a college in West Virginia in the States and also get a degree, so that is a good option if I don't make it. It's really hard to make decisions like that which can determine your future in the long run. I'll just take my time and decide what's right for me, what feels right for my development and then make the decision from there. So I used to play soccer in the backyard with my brother and my two cousins. Both games are probably some of the most hated of my life. <laughs> I used to hate losing, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'll sit off on the left. Tottenham United. This is my first football club when I was about five or six. I guess all my earliest memories and when I was a child, my, my football career was here. <laughs> I remember one time my uncle came down and watched from Sydney. He goes, I'll give you five bucks for every goal you score. And when, when you're a kid, you're thinking five bucks. And, in my head, I'm thinking, well, doing the math, oh, <laughs> wow. Anyway, I ended up scoring about six or seven goals. And he goes, mate, I haven't even had that much on me. I already got eight to him. <laughs> I started playing football because it was fun. That's the reason I've, I've always played it, because I enjoy it. I guess only recently it, it, it hit me that it, it is a job. It's your income. It's a very important thing in your life. I mean, everyone needs a job, and I'm getting paid for this something I love, and not everyone's able to do that. I mean, the other day I was trying to count uh, which country I've been through through football, and um, I sort of lost count. Just to experience those things, it's just amazing when you think that it's all because of football and all because of this great game that you get to have these life experiences and, and make these friendships that, that you have for life. I was checking my live score up one, one morning, and I was just scrolling down as I do, checking the scores around the world, and. It had a um, Shamrock Rovers match, and I clicked on it just to see if they won. And it had a red card, Rayad Peter, so I was like, this isn't right. Yeah. Uh, surely not the guy I was just training with a couple of months ago. The keeper has been red carded in a, in a professional match over there playing for Shamrock, and it's just hilarious knowing that, you know, this guy was one of my friends and one of my teammates such a short time ago. pressure situation didn't go well. But listen, this happens, he's 20 years of age. I mean, like, he's got another 15 years ahead of him to play professional football. You know the time Riyadh spends in the training ground is phenomenal. 
I mean, he's living the dream. Well, he hasn't got money. He's got enough to live on and probably buy a few bits and pieces, but that comes later after the hard work. I like to dream big and I don't just want to settle for just anything. Like I want to be something in life and I want to be a good role model, not just for my own kids, but for many people out there. Back on these days, there's a huge smile inside of me and a lovely feeling to say, we've helped them on their way, we've sort of imparted some of our knowledge to have hopefully made them better players and better individuals as human beings as well. A week or so ago, I got a phone call off Fabio to say that he's now signed for FC Brussels, which is a club that's close to his heart, which is a club where he started off as a young boy, and I actually think that's a really positive step for Fabio. Staff had the opportunity to go to a club in Tunisia, but I also know that he was trying to look at something a bit closer to home. A very single-minded individual to say, actually, I'm not sure this is the right club for me, where I want to be in my life with my family right now, and I take my hat off to him for that. And Toby's been picked up by a club called Hazen Yen, who are in the Conference South. I do think in the next couple of years we'll see Toby in the professional game. Jono was a, an unfortunate one. For him to have the operation he had, and it was a four or five month rehab plan, but he stayed here to finish his schooling, which was quite important to him as well. If he can build himself up and becomes the player that we saw in the chance, then I've got absolutely again, no doubt that, that he shouldn't have a career in professional football, whether it be in South Africa or whether it be somewhere else throughout the world. Titi's not far off being sold maybe to a top Premier League club in, in Sweden, which is the Outspenskan League. And I know that Moon's training with Sunfell, which are uh, an Outspenskan side as well. So those two boys are doing something right out there. A great outcome. And it's a fantastic feeling when someone says that they've been offered a contract because it's the start of their dream, in my opinion. back there in their shoes, if they can relate to what they're going through. I've got the pleasure of introducing Tom Rodic, who I'm sure all you guys know very well. He was out here um, two years ago, and obviously he got chosen at the final eight. He's gone on to some amazing things since being selected to go through the Nike Academy, something for you guys to aspire to. You just got to, I guess, give it your all because you don't have another shot after after three games, so I just say you know, leave it all out on the pitch and don't come off saying I should have, I should have tracked back or I should have made that run. It's weird because I stood back and I, like I go to talk to these guys who are almost my age or a year younger, so it feels a bit, I guess, awkward in a way because like it's just the start for me. It's not like I'm some expert of football who's been around the block and knows everything. Um, I've still got a long way to go, so I know that. Yeah, I'm not sure you too. Cheers, mate. You too. It feels really cool being here and just like sort of watching it. I don't think there's any use in getting caught up in the matches I've played or the goals I've scored because they don't count for anything now. I've played only a handful of matches in my professional career. I've been a pro for uh, five months now, six months, so I have a long way to go. And I know it's just a start. Four times for the Australian national team. 
and it's Cummins! Brilliant! Tom Rogic, the new boy in his Celtic debut, was the architect. That goal has class written all over it. Thoughts goes back in South Africa we had to go through a phase of trials. We were trialing there for the chance for global the top hundred and I made it there. I couldn't believe it. I phoned my mom and I just told her that I made the eight and she started crying and she put a tear in my eyes. I know the wish was I think it was the dream for come on to keep my jump from black and stuff. Back home, like a lot of people had faith in me. My best friend told me now that you will make the final eight, so I thank you, my daughter, my family. I got a like, positive personality. That gave me the edge to go for it. I'm much, much closer to fulfill my dreams. Gives me so much confidence to know that coaches have belief in me here, and I just want to work hard and prove them right, and not waste the chance I've been given. You're buzzing in there. Just so happy. I was going to write I guess a few weeks later that I realised that what it actually meant, like I'm moving to England, I'm moving away, I'm pretty much the other side of the world for me, so I guess the challenge is that had only just started and going to the academy it all, it all started all over again. <laughs> Packing up their life in a bag and bringing it across to the other side of the world. They're in an environment that's totally new to them, in a country that's totally new to them. I don't think we can take away just, just what a big poor deal like was for the, the hardest thing was just leaving my family behind because I know I'm going to miss them. I know it's, it's a sacrifice you need to do in, in order to be one of the best. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to become one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Well, I think already with the different coaches who are in the academy, we will be able to progress. We are training every day. We are a little bit professional, so we can progress. Best facilities, best coaches. All I'm going to do is improve. Hopefully, after this year, I'll move on to better things. The idea of the Nike Academy and the way it's set up is to actually put players into a shop window. 
give them an opportunity to showcase themselves, to get them into professional football. The eight that we chose to come in were exceptional. It's more talent, it's not been coached, it's not been nurtured as such, it's been allowed to be a free spirit. They need a little bit of guidance, but their technical ability to stand up. You keep going on that, OK? That's how you should look after that run. We do ask them to hit the ground running because the time in the programme goes so quick. I think the intensity for the first few weeks actually totally took them by surprise. Well, you work. Tell me what you mean, fellas. You're more than good enough to do that. You know, I'll just tell you that I'm not going to stop. I'm going to stop. Outside, TT! TT! Now, you did everything right until the point of shutting down. Because you've overcommitted. I'm saying to you, get round him, throw him outside, but then when you're here, don't let him back in. He shouldn't be back in because Tash should be there. Let now say, go on then, now beat me. There ain't a player in this country that beat me. Look, you've got it then, you've got it then. In the family of six, I was, I was going to school like every day, learning hard to become someone in the future from where I came from, where I am now. There's a massive change today. Come on, let's have a finish. Good save, big fella. Excellent. Well done, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you need to go in? Because of Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Where was it? Yeah, okay, so we look for the space. Moon's biggest problem, it was just his language barrier, and he got on brilliantly with the lads, was very well respected, but he was respected because he could play. Hey, forward! Treble, treble! Hey! 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 Something like this, where it gives the boys this kind of an opportunity to play against these standard players, and you know, there's always coaches here watching and and people that are going to be spotting them. It's fantastic, isn't it? With developing young players, you've got to be patient, I and mean, you can see the work that's going on with this initiative. That there are players there. So this is straight after their goal, yeah. Good reaction, great reaction, great play. Here he goes. Teacher, I can't knock that because you made your people work because you started deep in your own half and you've ended up in there about to get the shot off. Yeah, gone across the goalkeeper, which I'd ask you to do. He's made a save. Yeah, but there are mistakes individually yeah, which have led to the goal. Fabio, yeah. you're the biggest culprit for me because you're so uptight that he ain't give you the ball. What could you have done? Go and stop the game. But because you're disappointed because Moon didn't pass the ball to you or he's had a poor shot, he switched off. <laughs> Pour moi c'était la première fois de voir tout ça et, et c'était difficile de prendre tout ça et de, voilà, de, 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 de surpasser le fait des médias, le fait de la pression du regard des gens et surtout de, 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 de l'affrontement avec les autres joueurs. Il fallait surmonter cette pression, il fallait surmonter ce stress. We have been very pleased. We've been very happy over the last few days now. All of a sudden you're concentrating. You're working hard, yes, you're getting on with your training. I am now seeing the Fabio Tonini I saw in the chance. You understand? That's right. And that's the person I look to. You got it, Tony. Since the start of the academy, we played 22 games. Played against the likes of Inter Milan, against Arsenal. I've scored 14 goals, so I'm quite happy. I've been captain for the past few games before. It's a great honour and it's just about the team and all the players playing well so we can show to ourselves. I've got a few goals, but obviously scoring and drinking wine is a good memory that I'll probably not forget. Everybody there, you can hear them saying positive things about you, and if you do something on the pitch in front of them, 
Okay, here, but I'll give you the other five. He's one of the most talented, raw potential players that I've ever come across in my life. Can travel with the ball, can pass the ball, great vision and awareness. He has the ability to look like he's absolutely exhausted and then just go and breeze past people. Hits 60 yard balls like as if he's playing a five yard pass. Reading really likes on both me and would like to have him in. Tom went over to Reading, trialled him for three weeks. He then came back to yeah, we want to take him. I went down there and I, I did quite well. And then I wanted to find me and get even better. And then from there I went on to being able to attain the work. And I guess my dreams and what I've been thinking of in my head just all sort of came crashing down. And probably the biggest setback I've had in, in my life. Tom how to get a professional contract at Reading, so went back to Australia at Christmas time and was picked up straight away by Central Coast Mariners. What I think was a surprise to a lot of people is how quick he got in the first team at Central Coast, but it, it didn't come as a surprise to me. I know from being at a club myself in a professional environment, you get a trial as you, that trial is has to make an impact on you instantly. It's down to the minister to just go out there and be the best they can be every game. If you get a phone call, it's brilliant. Off you go. If you don't, you can go to the next one. It's very complicated because it's dollars in the sense where there are people in a routine every day. We have to train. Every week we have to prove that we are on top. We actually think you are a very, very good technical player. And you're a technical player in our game. I'm Axel. Maybe 20, 25, 30 minutes. I want you to do what you do, but be more consistent. You can take the match, you can take the match. You can take the match, 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 etc. Or as he was an attacker before. He said to what he does, he said to what he does. Look at that! the Nike Academy play um, because I was aware of the, the sort of talent there. Got to see Moon and Antiki play and I could just tell that they had something a little bit unique, both of them, and hopefully this is the environment for them to, to really take that next step um, as footballers. For the past 12 months, my love has changed. Because I'm now like, in, the, in the real world now, like doing a lot of stuff for myself, working, getting paid. Before the chance. I was playing in school, my parents kind of did everything for me, but now like, I'm, I'm catching for myself now, I live on my own. I go here and like, the first time I was kind of scared, there was, like, I don't speak the same language. But on the pitch, I'm like, more confident because I know I'm playing food and I'm very good at it. Quiet place and food and our front is a team town, so it's kind of slow every day, I have to get used to it. First game I go on the pitch and like, the fans didn't win, I won it. It was one year against the Eagles in the league. I came on and like, everyone was like, who is this guy? I scored in the second game. One of the best games I scored in my life. And we really happy for that. After the game, like, everyone was impressed. Like, I always knew like, my first impression would speak a lot about you. Moon and I, we came from a long journey to where we are now, so it's really good to have him around to share experience and stuff. Moon leaves like five minutes for me, so I do go to it, talk about life, especially about where he came from South Korea, so I try to learn how to go. How do you stand up? So, so. Actually, I got injured on Saturday when I was playing in the game. He's going to the uh, hospital to have a scan to see what's wrong. I pray that it's just a bruise and not. She's a kind of football player, she's a girl, so we can't. She's a kind of football player. Dan.
일단 여기 와가지고 이제 더 한달 아니면 두 달에 한 번씩 이제 이렇게 큰 박스로 이렇게 택배를 보내주시는데요 한국 음식을 그때마다 이렇게 챙겨 먹고 네. 그럼 이제 더 한국이 더 그립죠. They'll have a springboard to develop themselves tactically, to, to experience different types of football, different culture. Their job now is to, is to play football and try and take the, the next step. 현재 목표 여기 와 일단 여기서 이제 스웨덴 가서 저의 이름을 이제 모르는 사람이 없을 정도로. They have a really good career. Yeah, they can, they can walk away from their career never having to work again. The majority of players don't do that. I came here for the first week, uh, we played Celtic, that was like my first game. And then a few minutes into training, like, I hurt my ankle, like, I snapped my ankle ligament. I've been out like three months and I like had to go for a steroid injection just to take the pain away because a specialist recommended me to have an operation in January which I just had. It was very tough. I was captured because I wanted to play. I wanted to get a contact in England. That's, that's my dream. As I say to myself, everything happens for a reason. I know in the future good things will come. But God knows why I had to get injured like, at, at this moment. That was just a, a downfall for me. But with my character, like, I motivated myself to get back to do my rehab and start playing. The most motivation is like my friends at Riyadh. He's been like pushing me since the beginning, like, telling me I will do well and all that. Since we've been here in England, we've been there for each other, like, helping each other. Like, we've become more close with like, real that. We do like have faith in ourselves and believe in each other. Without belief, we like, wouldn't be as high as we are today, like being at the Nike Academy. There's players like Jono that's out for, for months and months and like I can just imagine how they feel waking up every morning thinking ah, oh, like I can't do what I really want to do, what I love. Each and every moment is special and you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You have to treat each and every day like it's your last play each and every game, like it's the last night you're going to play. We played a friendly against Shamrock Rovers. The next day the manager he gave me a call and he said, nah, we want you to come over for a trial. He said to me, like, you did really well. I was over the moon. Shamrock Rovers, they champions in the Irish League. Fans come out, they pay their money to come and watch. So, I mean, there's going to be pressure. Expectations are high here. They're expected to win the league. For me, it's not about age, it's about talent. He's one of the best 19 year old goalkeepers that I've ever seen, to be honest. The manager said to me, like, you've really done well, and he gave me a chance against the team that's top of the league. When I walked out for the league game, I got butterflies as I walked out. It was the best feeling I've ever had in my life. It was the best feeling ever. I think it was within three weeks of being back. The manager came out saying, but uh, how do you actually go for part of time? And he got this cheeky grin on his face and he's like, I knew it was going to be my debut in my first match and I started the match and I guess I wasn't that used to the intensity and lasted about seven minutes. My second start, my third appearance, and I scored that goal about five or ten minutes into the match and it was a cracker and I guess that was probably the first point where people started to take notice and then the week after that we were at home in front of the home crowd and I had all my family watching and, and I scored another one. And up there was a decisive goal in the match and <laughs> we won the game. It's crazy how football works. Soon went from being someone that nobody knew about to a regular name within the football community. But to get my first international cup at, at any level. I was excited as I would be and just something I, I guess I won't forget for a bad moment for myself.
I'm going to start talking about Knack and Leaf tomorrow. I want to get back and work on my ankle. I'm staying in bed for a while. Do my rehab. Focus on sticking my ankle. Before I go, just so sad. The most that I'm going to miss is like the lads because like we like a family now and like, we bonded like that's what I'm going to miss the most and just being around the coaches and the environment. I'll be a bit upset because I'm going to miss them. I have to do it and play my life. My dream show the same like as I'm telling myself like every night I like to pray. I tell myself when I get back home, I need to work. I need to get hard and I get myself back into close with you. Because I know I will. I believe in myself. I know that the man is good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. At the start of the season, I felt that I was driving. I was driving. La camera ne non si passa, non è arrivata. La carta che ho filmato sono un video di 14 minuti e mi dice che ho più di memoria. Allora che ho memoria di 4 giga, non comprendo poco. Non mi ha detto che ho fatto il paese, non ho mai fatto En toi, c'est la meilleure solution de retirer les vidéos qu'il a déjà fait là. On a beaucoup de vidéos à faire encore. to the boys in there and in particular Toby and Moose because they come through the child's program. I know I've screamed, I know I've shouted, I know I've bit some of their heads off but it's because I care and what they'll find in life is that people stop talking to you if they don't care.